to a city fair, Rhode Island. There Ireland's lines of marching men in squadrons passed me by. No pipe did hum nor battle. The Citizen Army, 1915, James Connolly. The Irish Citizen Army was founded during the Great Dublin Knockout of 1913-14 to for the purpose of protecting the working class and of preserving its right of public meeting and free association. The streets of Dublin had been covered by the bodies of helpless men, women, boys and girls, brutally beaten by uniformed bullies of the British government. Three men had been killed and one young Irish girl murdered by a scab, and nothing was done to bring the assassins to justice. So since justice did not exist for us, since the law instead of protecting the rights of workers was an open enemy, and since the armed forces of the Crown were unreservedly at the disposal of the enemies of labour, it was resolved to create our own army to secure our rights, to protect our members and to be a guarantee of our own free progress. The Irish Citizen Army was the first publicly organised armed citizen force south of the Boyne. It const its constitution pledged and still pledges its members to work for an Irish Republic. Where, oh, where is our James Connolly? Where, oh, where can that great man be? He has gone to organize the workers to smash the bonds of slavery. Where we're standing now is a mass grave of Citizen Army volunteers who were killed during the uh, 1916 rising. They're believed to be buried in, in and around where the, uh, the, the flowers are here. Uh, and this, this whole monument was, was, was rededicated in the 1930s by uh, Frank Ryan. And what many people don't realize is that Frank Ryan and Pater O'Donnell and George Gilmore, when they left the IRA in 1930s, actually joined the Irish Citizen Army uh, because the Citizen Army still existed uh, since, since, the, since the Tan War and, and fighting against the counter-revolution and they became the uh, military ring of the Republican Congress and, and actually it's the Irish Citizen Army that sent their volunteers to fight fascism in Spain which is, which is al al almost always forgotten people say it was the IRA, it wasn't, it was the Irish Citizen Army And where, oh, where is our Citizen Army? Where, oh, where can that great band be? They have gone to fight the great rebellion to smash the bonds of tyranny. The Provisional Government of the Irish Republic salutes the citizens of Dublin on the momentous occasion of the proclamation of a sovereign independent Irish state now in course of being established by Irish men in arms. The Republican forces hold the lines taken up at 12 noon on Easter Monday and nowhere, despite fierce and almost continuous attacks of the British troops, have the lines been broken through. The country is rising in, an in answer to Dublin's call and the final achievement of Ireland's freedom is now, with God's help, only a matter of days. The valour, self-sacrifice and discipline of Irish men and women are about to win for our country a glorious place amongst the nations. And who'll be there to lead them on? Who'll be there to lead them on? Who else but our James Connolly, the leader of our working clan? They took him up unto Kilmainham. They took him up unto that jail. And they shot him down on a bright May morning. And laid him in a quick lying grave. But first of all, 
I want to say oh, we're, we're commemorating today is the sacrifice of the men during the Easter Rising, but we should remember that that wasn't the day that they sacrificed themselves. Uh, for years before that, they had been sacrificing themselves every day for the struggle, doing everything they could do, sacrificing their own personal lives um, to, to, to revive the national spirit of Ireland, to free Ireland. It's very easy in life to make excuses for yourself, you know, I got this going on, I've that going on. They didn't do that there. They had wives, they had children, they had businesses, they had things going on in their lives. I'm sure they won the party, the one do this and the one do that. But they made the sacrifice because they knew it was the, someone had to do it. Listen, live your life as if, as if the raising's going to happen tomorrow. All right? Okay, chop your eye off. Who mourns to death of this great man? Who mourns to death of this great man? Oh, bury me down in yon green gardens. Make my bearers be union men. We buried him down in yon green gardens. Union members each and every side. And we swore we would build a mighty weapon. And fill James Connolly's name with pride.
Such a fight for the rights of the working class. This small farmer too to organize the proletariat against the bosses and the screws. So hold on to your rifles, boys. Don't give up the dream of a republic for the working class. Economic liberty.